Hi, it's Gio again today. Welcome back to another video. It's been a long, long time since I've done one of these videos. I think it was sometime early last year. Now, the Citra 3DS emulator, both unofficial and official, have come a long way. And so has Exynos uh, chipsets. Now, the phone I'm using is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Note, which is a new one, despite the rumours and the... Uh, the bad reviews it's getting, I totally disagree. It is an awesome phone, it has awesome features, and it's really powerful with the Exynos 990 chipset. Now, as regards to emulators themselves, the both, uh, both the official and the unofficial version is good. They're both good, but for me, the unofficial version, Wheelia's version, uh, I don't know if it is uh, by Wheelia, or I don't know who is it by, but it comes up as Wheelia, um, it's a really good emulator. It's the most stable. Um, I don't know whether that's because it's Exynos. It just seems to run better. Not sure, but it is really unique. So we're in the emulator now. Uh, these are all my games. Um, I used to have a lot more, but some I don't play, so I've taken them away. So it's gonna move that there. And so yeah, so. It's pretty good. This emulator is just rock. So some of the game, uh, some of the videos I've done recently, you've seen where we've uh, we've done we've played games in in the uh, unofficial version or the the official version, and for me, it just works better in uh, the unofficial version. It's really better, and we've done resolution to show how powerful the Exynos nine ninety is. Uh, some like the Pokemon games can be played at times four resolution. It's really sharp crisp and it's at full playable frame rates which is good so what i'm going to do is first is briefly i'm just going to go into the settings that i use they're pretty basic so as we scroll down use dual core yet yeah. screen layout default internal resolution i've got at times two because i was just doing i think it was uh, super smash brothers ultimate i've just done recently i haven't uploaded it yet tried it with times four it was okay times three not too bad but it's hovering around the 50 FPS. So I'm just going to put it back to, actually no, we'll actually put it back to times four. So let's scroll down. Show FPS, yep, enable, enable hardware shutter. Now this is the key to this emulator, this setting here. Some games like, if you have like um, uh, Zelda 3D, uh, Ocarina of Time, you might see uh, glitches like in the background and all that. You can always turn that off because the game runs pretty good. But this here gives you a third um, performance increase in FPS. I found not having this on didn't really give... Um, it was like hovering around about 20 FPS. As soon as you hit enable this, it went full speed and full power. So uh, accurate uh, multiplication, I don't have that on, that's off. See it's off there. Uh, shader cache, normal shader cache, normal shader with cache. Uh, post processing effect, I have off. Texture load hacks, I will have all that off. Enable speed limit, now I have that on and that's kept at default 100%. There's no need to change that because it can really put the emulator unstable. Uh, factor 3D, it's kept at zero. The new 3DS mode is uh, checked. Use virtual SD, checked. Enable CPU, uh, JIT, checked. Emulated region, also system language, Eng uh, English. Audio output, auto, enable audio strand, that is on. Uh, microphone type is off and camera type is blank. So let's come out of there. And let's just go into a game. Now I did, uh, I'll go into a game that I've already got open, up and running. So we'll go to Pokemon X. So this is in times four resolution. And you're hearing no stuttering because it, it's building the shader cache. I've already played it. And the picture just looks super sharp. So we're in we're in the full times full resolution. And it looks pretty good. And look, the picture looks really sharp.
And there you go, let's come out of there. And that looks pretty good. So a simple test and it looked fine. I know we only did a little area, but times for resolution. All you have to probably do is probably just watch your battery life a bit, like turn down the brightness, that kind of thing. So you've seen the settings and that is basically about it. They're simple. Now, how do you get the emulator? It's very simple. I'll leave a link in the description. We come out of there and the link in the description will bring you to this. And it's all the recent ones that have been brought up. So that's the release six days ago. This is Wii or US version. The official uh, version is Google Play. So, but I'd prefer this version. It's more stable. And there you go. And what you can do is, folks, is once you're on this uh, page, just look in the top right corner. There's three dots there. Click it. Go down. I've already done this. And it says add to home screen. And what you do is you create a little virtual app that basically um, you can name it whatever you want it to. And it will tell you exactly, um, you know, updates. Uh, you can just click on it every day or every so often and you see a new update. So you're never behind. And that's pretty good. So we'll come out there. And that is about it. It's a very simple, this emulator just rocks. The the Samsung uh, Exynos uh, 990 rocks as well. It's nice though that the Citra and the unofficial, for me, are on par. But I would say this is a lot better because it runs games flawlessly. And very little glitching, stutter as I found with... Um, I think the official is laid out wrong. I would have laid it out. Like, Wheel has got it on this. It's, it's awesome. You see all the settings there and it's just simple and it's easy to set up. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I sh might do more of these. Uh, tell us what you want to see or what games you want to uh, test it if I've got in my library. And I should see you soon. Bye for now.